How much can you earn with FPS mining? Well, today we're going to take a look at how much you can actually earn with it. At the moment, we are at crude ore. You can see just behind that, behind us is the station, and in front of us is the mining cave. You can find this on Daymar, just in case you also want to do this for yourself. You can find this on Daymar if you open your map and go to the Crusader system. You can find crude ore on Daymar. This is a really nice location since inside this station you can sell and right over there you can mine. So let me get into my ship. Let's fly into the cave. This cave is super big, right? So you need a little ship just to fly into it so that you can start mining. I'll definitely show you everything that you need to know. I couldn't close my door, but it's fine. We don't need it. Let's quickly get in and let's fly to the little hole. The hole is not that big, but it's big enough for a ship, right? So this is where you can see here, pretty big hole right next to the little mining station. It's super nice since you can mine here and directly sell. You don't have to wait. The only thing is sometimes it's a bit busy here if people want to do a lot of mining. Hopefully we are alone here so we don't have to share. We don't like sharing, right? So I'm just going to land my ship inside the cave. Turn off engines. It is pretty dark. So I'm going to try and fill one complete backpack. Just my backpack on my back. See how much it is. How much we can get for it. Since previously a couple of years ago. I already made this video. I want to see how it stacks up. At least I can compare then. Now uh, let me find my way. I think at the back here. Is where I want to go. I remember last time or yesterday. I tried this and it was bugged. Well that side was bugged. The side with the pink, pink flare. You need to go into a crawl space. But the crawl space is too small. You can't go through it. So hopefully this is the correct side. Where I can go through it. Since I turn on my light. It will probably help right. So all that you need for this. Is an FPS mining tool. You can get at any station. Mostly any station. I think you go to the cargo center. You can buy one and so forth. And then just a backpack and you should be good to go. So what we're looking for here is Hedonite, I believe. Hedonite is the one that's the most profitable. So I'll walk you through the first mineable and then I'll probably mine everything on my own. And this might take a while. And here and there I'll probably update you. So what you do is you click... And you will start shooting. You can hold Alt and increase the power. Which should raise the power level of the mining device. And as you can see on the left hand side. There's a little bar that's filling up. We want it to be in the green. Once it's in the green. We want to stabilize our power right. So let it just get into the green. There it's in the correct zone. Now we just want to lower our power. Make sure this thing stays in there. If it goes over, the rock will explode and it might kill you. So we don't want to do that. So I'm just going to wait for it to fill up. And then I'll probably run around in the cave and pick up all the little rocks. There we go. You see it will break. Now this is a new feature. If you press B. It will go into collection mode and you can just scoop everything up. It's like a little, little tractor beam. Just sucking up all the gems. Sometimes it's a, you do need to wait a little bit for it to pull towards you. And you don't want to miss any gems so just take a look around. They are sometimes a little bit see-through. So it can be difficult. So I'm going to go around and look for more nodes that i just wanted to do the first one with you as you can see my backpack is 20 percent so about five nodes i think and then we'll be good to go so let me quickly go mine a couple more i think this one is our last little node but i do want to show you a quick little trick afterwards let me just quickly mine this one and then i'll show you what's really cool about crude ore location since it is so close to the mining station, you will be able to get an inventory. So you don't even need a backpack if 
you run out of space. So let me quickly just mind this and then we can take a look at it together. It's in the green zone. Now let's just fill it up. Usually you lower the power about 50% when you get into the, the green zone. And then you just wait it out. Hopefully this fills it up. Let's quickly take a look. So I want to do the first one and the last one. It's been about 10 minutes since the first one. So it doesn't take too long, but this backpack isn't the biggest, right? So now we press B and we just suck everything up. Sometimes it doesn't want to suck anymore. You see, now we're at 100%. That's why we probably can't put any more into our backpack, right? Like it doesn't work anymore. But we can do something else that I've noticed in this location. So, for example, if I crouch down and I press inventory, you can see here local inventory. Since we're so close to, this, to the station, the mining station, we can just put it in local. And we already have it right in the station. So we can just sell from local if we want to. So this location is super good for that. So I'm quickly going to pick up all of these. And then we can make our way back to our little Aurora. And we can go see how much this small backpack. It's not crazy backpack, right? It's just super cheap. It's mostly for new players to start out with. So I wanted to grab a cheap backpack as well. Since they won't have all the starting credits, only 5,000 if you use a referral. But yeah, let me get up here. If you want to, you can use my referral. If you haven't used the game, just take a look in the description. But anyone will do. So let me go back here to our little Aurora. Caves can be quite uh, confusing. But we, not, we didn't go that far. So we should be pretty decent. And then we can sell right at crude ore, which is super nice. No needing to quantum. Plus, it's a pretty cool area. You can see there's the hole at the top. Let's open here. Luckily, we had no competition. Let me just turn off my light. Otherwise, it's going to shine onto my cockpit while flying. Engines on. Now hopefully we don't run into the wall here. It would be or the rocks. It wouldn't be the base. But yeah, just a quick little trip, go upwards, and we should be pretty decent. Landing gear is still out, so we're pretty slow. But we can make our trips. I have no idea what the C2 is doing here. Maybe they were trying to to buy some commodities. But we're already at the station here that we can just quickly sell. Any mining station will do. You will have to click on the on the settlement to see if it's a mining outpost. But any mining outpost you can sell your ores to, I believe. This one is just really easy for me. And saves a lot of time, so I don't have to QT. I don't know if I turned off my engines. Anyway, let's quickly go sell so that we can see how much we made with one little backpack. It's probably not a crazy amount. I spent about 16 minutes at the moment talking to you guys and mining. So it's probably about 10 minutes just mining. So let's see how much we made in about 10 minutes. So here's the terminal. Are we going to select the core gameplay? I believe. Here's 50 units. This is what is in our backpack. We made about 13,000. For 10 minutes. So not too bad. It's about on par for the starter mission, right? Nothing too crazy. Plus we need to include our mining tool. But super easy. 13,750. And yeah, that's basically how much you can earn with FPS mining. If you want to support my YouTube channel, then you can hit the join button to become a member. Or you can watch this video right here where I show you how I mine the rarest gem in Star Citizen.